from the zoo that brought you elephants, tigers, rhinos, red pandas, and prairie dogs comes the greatest roller coaster ever built. Which almost got torn down less than a year later. Nailed it. Wildfire, the ride that showed us how bad Taylor's singing actually is. A million you loved Lightning Rod, El Toro, and The Voyage, and considered them to be the holy trinity of wooden roller coasters. Now watch as a random zoo in Sweden says, hold my beer, and outdoes all of them, constructing a masterpiece of engineering and beauty, delivering a thrill ride like no other. That sounds so amazing, but based off of that description, shouldn't it get like a two hour line or something? Oh, if it were at Cedar Point it would, but who goes to Sweden and says, let's go to the zoo? So, long story short, you should be able to walk right on, because the locals would rather watch these here birds fly around. Whoo! Look at those boys go. Brace yourself for one of the largest parks ever built, forcing you to hike to the very back in a vigorous 20 minute walk, where you won't be able to even see the ride until you get there. After you pass through the kitty area, a playground, and several animals' habitats, finally arrive at the entrance for the signature attraction, dominating the area with an astonishing 184 foot tall height, 161 foot drop, and an 83 degree descent. AKA, not for the faint of heart. And I don't say that lightly, especially since the next largest coaster is that right there. Gardenstadt. Gardenstadt. Gardensteigt. Gardensteigt. Uh, right, so they decided to go with English for wildfire, because Lopold is not as intimidating. Lopold. 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 Yeah, I've got nothing. Walk under the oddly satisfying entrance sign and stroll up into the station. Observe the lightly themed props on the wall to simulate a shed, I guess. Which doesn't have anything to do with wildfires. Hey, it's simple. Either the items in the shed help you fight a wildfire, or the shed burns down in a wildfire. No, not the shed! I would not be opposed for the shed burning down. Uh, do you see those chocolate bars someone left? Holy crap! I don't even know what kind it is because it's in Swedish, but as long as those are in there, this place ain't going anywhere. Turn out of the station and begin your ascent up the lift hill, where you will be greeted by what just might be the greatest view of all time. So, why did they have the lift hill facing away from the gorgeous view? Plunge down one of the most exhilarating drops on an RMC coaster that you won't be able to find anywhere else. Now, things pick up as you'll get flipped head over heels into a zero-g stall, followed by an aggressive turnaround, banking low to the ground through some theming that you'll- Wait, was that another shed? Pass through some ejector hills, two more inversions, and a dive off the cliffside that is nowhere near as good as Iron Rattlers. Proceed through some rapid-fire S-curves that you would think would be a little faster, but I guess this is one of the few RMCs that actually manages to lose momentum at the end. But it still ends with one final whip into the break run. Phew, that was nuts. I think I'll go again. And again, and again. It's not like there's a line or anything. So I can just lap this all day. How has this not won any awards yet? This ride could win any contest it wants. No other ride in Europe would even stand a chance. Congratulations to the six of you that have made it thus far. Unfortunately, for five of you, this is the end of the line. Ashlyn has one season pass left that she'll be giving to her number one. Ashlyn, whenever you're ready. These past few weeks have been amazing and I love spending time with each and every one of you. I'm really sad our time together is coming to a close. My heart is pounding so bad, dude. Like, I feel like we had a connection, but I don't know if she feels the same way. I thought we bonded. Taryn was great. Um, he could have been better, and don't get me wrong, he was gorgeous. I guess I was just expecting a little bit more. There's a lot of, like, really good dudes here, you know? Like, really good. I don't know how I'm gonna stack up. I know I have a few rough patches, but I think I'm really growing on her. She started liking me the more we hung out. Now say it with me. Dishwer Diskjarnen. Dishwer... No, no, no. Dishwer Diskjarnen. The shortest Karen? I'm not worried at all. I think this is, this is a total blast. I'm having so much fun. I don't know how you guys feel about that smiler, dude, but that guy's like way too happy. 
It's almost kind of creepy. Yeah, I'm not for sure. He always has such a positive attitude and continues to surprise me in unexpected ways. Now the goal here is to see how many times we can flip before we get to the bottom. I got 14. You ready? She likes me. I can tell. I'm just happy to be here. I feel like me and Ashlyn really connected. You know, most people only like me for my looks, but uh, I feel like she sees me for much more than that. Goliath, I mean, what can I say? He's big. I expected a little bit bigger, but he's good. I wouldn't say great. Every single one of these guys has got what it takes to be the best. I don't know who she's going to choose, but it's not going to be easy. This is the toughest decision I've ever had to make. Excuse me. I don't know why she's being all emotional. I'm the obvious choice. Yeah, things start off a little rough and uncomfortable, but I know she loved me. I'm the guy of her dreams and she knows it, so she just needs to shut up and pick me already. Condor, I don't know why I haven't eliminated him sooner. He really should not have made it this far. He's just awful. You gonna finish that? It's never easy asking someone to pick their favorite, especially when there's so many options out there. I can only imagine the kind of stress he's going through. Taryn, Karen, Goliath, Smiler, and then there's Wildfire. I don't know what to say about him. He's perfect. He's tall, smooth, gorgeous, and I just love being with him. I can't imagine being with anyone else. She's my everything, and I just I can't imagine life without her. I'm sorry. I've, I've given this decision a lot of thought and... Wildfire? Wildfire, do you accept this season pass? I do. You'll always be my number one. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I completely put myself out on the line for this girl. And she picked him. I had that one in the bag. Was it something I said? I'm great. Good for them. I'm just I'm just so happy for them. Everything's great. Life life is great. Yeah, that's all fine and dandy, but that still fails to answer the question of why did a freaking zoo build wildfire? And who do I talk to if I want to convince my local zoo to do the same thing? I like seeing the animals, but the zoo is just missing something, like rides or roller coasters. Well, um, that's called an amusement park. You may have heard of them. There's quite a few around here. We don't need roller coasters. We came to the zoo to look at animals. Who cares about rides? This is about seeing these beautiful animals in their natural environment. Well, that's great. If we go to Cedar Point, you can hang by the petting zoo, but I'm going to steal vengeance. So we go to Colmarden. You can bet I'm going to be at... <gasps> Is that a snow leopard? Oh my god, did you know that a snow leopard can take down prey up to three times its own weight and uses its long thick tail for balance, and even though it can hiss and growl, it cannot roar. And it has an average lifespan of up to 10 to 13 years in the wild, but have known to be left up to 20 in zoos. And due to their carnivorous diet, is including but not limited to hares, sheep, and birds. <sighs> okay, can we go ride wildfire now? Lopeld. Yeah, still nothing. Ride it now and pray the government doesn't change their minds and make them tear it down after all. Now, at Clomarvin.